Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to count columns based on criteria. In the example, I want to count columns that contain this value. First, create a logical array to test the criteria. Type this formula. The result is an array that contains true or false values. To convert Boolean values to numbers, use the double negative method. The transpose function takes the logical array of ones and zeros and transposes it. This formula creates a reference to a range that starts at row 1 and ends at the last row of B2, E6. Now apply a matrix multiplication on the two arrays. Matrix multiplication will essentially sum the ones in each column where the value in B2 appears. There will be a single column array where each row contains the sum of ones for that row. The last step is to sum ones, which gives the count of columns that contain the value from cell B2. The result looks great, but you can save a lot of time if you are using the column criteria function. The column criteria function is a part of our free function library. Please check the link in the description. Thanks for being with us today. For the latest Excel tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.